Hey folks, Lori at Not Forgotten Farm. I'm here doing my little uh, tutorial videos, short and, short and sweet, or at least I'm trying to keep it that way, of my um, real primitive embroidery stitches for you. So number one, we did video number one is the split stitch. Video number two is the satin stitch. This is video number three, and this is the stem stitch. Again, I'm writing with a friction pen on here so that I can erase it afterwards. This is Osnaberg cloth. You can get it at Walmart. You can get it at uh, Joann's. You can get it at, I think Hobby Lobby has it. Um, I like to dye it afterwards, or actually I'll dye, I'll stain it before and after. Um, that's what it looks like after, and I love that. Coffee, tea, a little bit of black walnut. All right, so stem stitch, I'm going to actually use all six strands of DMC floss right now for this so that you can see how nice a stem stitch looks. Um, and I, I really want you to see it. So again, I'm using my two inch embroidery needle, which is bent because it's used to heck. Um, I'm going to show you how I thread my needle. And that is by taking my tiny little, I don't know if you could see the eye of that needle or not, tiny little eye, put it directly over the ends of my floss, work it back and forth, and hopefully get them all. Patience is a virtue, right? I did it. I think. Yeah, I did it. Okay. So all six strands of floss on there. Um, I'm not going to tie it on the end of the needle like I did in video number one and two because I don't want it. It's I'm using a thicker amount of thread. So, but I am going to wax my thread. I've got a crusty old piece of beeswax here that I've had for a thousand years, and I'm going to just run my thread through just like that. So why am I doing that? Well, I'm doing that because I want my threads to lay down really nicely for this stitch being a stem stitch. I am going to knot my end. I'm a knotter. If you're not a knotter, we'll still be friends. Okay, there's my knot. All right, so let me just draw a curved line that I can follow for a stem stitch. There's one one way, and then there's another way, because there is a trick to it. I'm going to take my needle, go underneath my work, I'm going to come up on my line. And now, let me bring it a little closer for you. I'm going to surface stitch. Surface stitch means not stabbing down like this and then pulling. Okay, surface stitch means, I'm going to come up right in front of that. Surface stitch means just to put your needle in and then bring it up on the surface. So for a stem stitch that's arced or curved, what you want to do is make your stitch, bring your needle in. You want to be your next, where your needle's going to go down is between this one where it came out and this one, or this where it went in, this where it came out. You want to put your needle right down on it and then back out on your line. And you want to make sure that that previous stitch lays down nicely. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to do it so you can see me do it. For a line that arcs to the left, you want to keep your thread on the inside of the curve. So there's your curve. This is the inside of the curve. That's the outside of the curve so that it stays nice and even and has a nice almost rope effect to it. You see that okay? I hope. And I will end that. So you can see that it's just like a very, I don't know, they, they just kind of make like a rope. 
don't know if you can see that good enough. And now I'll go ahead and I'll do it on the other side, the other way. I put my knot on my thread. I'm gonna bring my needle up. I'm gonna put my first stitch in. Again, I'm gonna surface stitch it. And because on the curve on this side, I was on the, or, you know, your left curve, I was on the inside of the curve. So this has to be the inside of the curve this way. So you want this thread on the inside of the curve. So your next one will go here. I'm making my threads and my stitches a little bit bigger than I would normally because I normally don't use six strands, but for the purpose of the video, I'm just showing you, you know, six strands and what it looks like. Looks nice, doesn't it? I like it. I like it. Perfect outline stitch. I use it quite often as an outline stitch. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by small. So let me bring my phone away just a bit. So this is outline stitch. I'm sorry, stem stitch. I don't actually use the outline stitch really. And you can look that up because I'm not a fan. I, I'm not good at it. I just don't do it well. Outline stitch. Outline stitch. No, it's not an outline stitch. Stem stitch, stem stitch, stem stitch, stem stitch. Do not listen to me. I use the stem stitch as an outline stitch. Okay, now that I've made no sense. Okay, stem, stem stitch, stem stitch, stem stitch. And then on him, I did the same thing. Stem stitch. I outline everything in stem stitch even the hat where I fill with the split. Okay, now that I've completely confused yourself and myself, on to the next.